God will bless us richly in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. We know the reason why we are here, the funeral of our late mother. That is the reason we are all here. And the first on our program this evening is the praise and worship. While we are singing, Jehovah.
Jehovah, we thank you for the successfulness and the peace of the family. Lord, we pray, oh God, that your name will be glorified at the end of the ceremony. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Glorious God, the family, the children will be happy. And thanks God that will return to them in the name of Jesus. Amen. Patience of days. May God of mercy will guide the children. And the angel of the Lord will guide this family, oh God. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. There will be any trauma. Amen. There will be any frustration. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Jehovah, we pray that your name will be exalted. Amen. And the children will be happy. And the children will be glorious. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Jehovah, we thank you. Thank you. We worship you. We honor thee. Oh, okay. 
Bible reading, take it from the book of John chapter 1, 1 to 7. John chapter 1, verse 1 to 7. Praise the Lord. Scripture reading, John 1, verse 1 to 7. Let not your heart be troubled. Ye believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If, if it were not so, I would have told you, go to prepare a place for me. Chapter 3. And if I go and prepare a place, I will come again and receive you to myself. That where I am, there you shall be also. Verse 4. And whither I go ye know, the way ye know. Verse 5. Come on, sir. Oh. We know not whether you go as, and how can we know the way? Verse 6, Jesus said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father, but by me. Verse 7, If ye had known me, ye would have known my Father also, and from henceforth ye know him, and have seen him. God bless the scripture with you. In the third Bible reading that is going to be taken from the book of Revelation, chapter 7, 9 to 17. And that is going to be taken by one of our minister, Brad Kenneth. 7, verse 9 to 17. I read. After this, I beheld and moved a great multitude which no man could number of all nations and people and people and tongues stood before the throne and before the lamb parted with white robes and palms in their hands and cried with a loud voice saying salvation to our God who seated upon the throne and unto the lamb verse number 11 and all the angels stood around about the throne and about the, and about the elders and the four beasts and fell before the throne on their faces and worship God. Verse number 12, saying, Amen, blessing, and glory, and wisdom, and thanksgiving, and honor, and power, and might, and unto, be unto our God forever. Amen. Verse number 13, And one of the elders answered, saying unto me, What is this which are arrayed in white robes, and hence, and whence came they? And I said unto him, Sir, Thou knowest, and he said unto me, These are the which came out of great tribulation, and have washed their robes, and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. Verse number 15. Therefore they are before the throne of God, and serve him day and night in his temple. And he that seated on the throne shall dwell among them. They shall hunger no more, neither thirst any more, neither shall the sun light on them, nor any heat. 17, the last verse. For the Lamb which is in the midst of the throne shall feed them and shall lead them unto living fountains of water, and God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes. Amen. Last on our program here is the testimony about our mother slash the biography, and that is going to be taken by Mama Foster. And after that, we are going to go for the next Bible reading, and that is going to be taken by one of the daughters of Mama, Psalm chapter 91 to 17. Come now for the testimony concerning their late mom. I don't know how I can describe my mom. And that was so special for every one of us. The people close to me, so well with her. It's just so special. I don't know how to describe it. It's a special mother. They have so recipes. We love her. It's a special mommy for everyone. Pray and well with her. It's all I have to say. I don't have any other thing to say. I miss her. She remember my mom. She's my great mother. She's a great mother to everybody. So friends, I don't know how I would describe her. I am happy to have her as a mother. I love her so much. Praise the Lord. Praise 
Jesus. Alléluia. Un Bouddha qui s'est fait quatre personnes. Il l'a tué. Allez, je sais qui va. Il l'a tué. 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 Or two people will try to come in and make a settlement. They stop seeing anybody that cry or ask something from her. She will surely give that person. She is a person that when you are crying, when you get there, she will give you what she wants. I really be, miss her very well. God bless, Lord. God bless you, sir. Sorry, 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 sorry. Good morning. The family should come and give testimony about Mama, one member of the family. Yeah, if you have a question, I I don't direct by you because he said each other. And he said, No, I'm no more. He said, Of family cooper, he said, Of your wife, a poor woman at the Tashi. He last said, If he said, I said, My way, a bad man, prepare better than that, or we have a lot to. All I want you, Mala, at you. My so I said, Each of you, I'm your daughter, Mulawa. They both have a good job. Each of them was not for you at home. All of your get you were put. I don't know you were You know, they say, I talk it down, but I already are a little All of you are not to the better. I'm winning. I'm not going to buy. Oh, it's a very good thing. It's a 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 good thing. Praise the Lord. The Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Well, um, if I'm a, well, I may, actually I'm a stranger here, but I'm not a stranger. One thing is that if we are friendly to say, let's speak the truth, the family may say, is our member, is our own house. So let's use one way to defend our our own uh, challenge so that we speak what mama who she is so actually mama she's a a woman that loves the activities of god this is from my own testimony since i knew this woman since i came back back to any anytime in the night in the late hour Mama will be in the church when the service is holding. Now, one thing is that I love when one of the sons says, Mama is a giver. Truly, she's a giver, a desperate giver. When we are to contribute to anything in the church, Mama will say, Pastor, this is my home. Although he may not, he will tell you what the son we should give. It may not be up to the money, but my contribution, this is it. Then anytime I'm going around visiting them, no day we 
will come to Mama's house. He will, we we are trying to reject Mama's gift because of my little boy. Mama will say, pass up. You know, people, I met with the Rono, I said, okay, mommy, don't worry, I'm sorry. Mama will force the money. The last time before Mama was taken to Benin, we came to pray. Even when we stretch a little envelope to Mama, Mama said, oh, Mama, wait, that is my son. Wait, wait, wait. She went inside and found 200 naira to give my son and say, hey, Mama, I know you, you are a giver, but this one, we want to keep more than what we gave to you. We won't, I won't collect it. Mama, hold on. Say, Pastor, I say, Mommy, from my heart, please. She's a giver, she's a dedicated member. May the Lord use this Mama uh, 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 celebration to touch life today in Jesus' name. Amen. A clap of round to Jesus. So the next one I'll read is the biography of Mama that is to be taken by the first song. God bless you, sir. Biography of my mother. Iye, Mary, Mary, She was born after the year of our Lord Jesus Christ, 1936. To the family of our Lord Jesus Christ, and a former of the full canyon and the full number of the head streets in the Ronin Bay, respectively. She was the first child in the family of seven, comprising of late, comprising of one, late Nicholas Amorodion, two, late Christiana Anaibuwe Amorodion, three, late Patrick Amorodion, Four, myself, late Mary of Morogion. Five, the oldest surviving male child of the family, Patrick of Morogion. Six, late Eduke of Morogion. And seven, surviving or someone here of Morogion. By the grace of Almighty God, the family of seven is now left with Patrick of Morogion. And also here, a more of you as seated above. In late year, Mary Sojourn, in this mother head, as faith will have it, she got married to Pat Joseph and Yosinu Boy of Mary and gave birth to five lovely children, namely Barista and Sonny of Morodion. Sorry, Marissa. Marissa is my son of Mercury. Uh, Nosaka of Mercury. Late Friday of Mercury. Blessing Aradakose of Mercury. Sylvester of Mercury. She is also blessed with many grandchildren and great grandchildren. In her lifetime, she was a mother to all. She was generous in her own life. She was generous in her own right and upholder of family tenants and upholder of decency and value. She was a lover of mankind and prayerful warrior. She wished the best for everybody, including with the children. She gives without hesitation. She loves with all her heart and selfless in all her undertaking and dealings with all her sorrow. Sadly, she slept peacefully in the Lord in the comfort of her home at exactly 11.20 a.m. After dining and playing joyfully with her grandchildren on now October 2020 at the right age of 84. Even okay, as only God, you shall surely be missed like no other. But we take solar in the fact that you live a fulfilled life worthy of emulation. To live in the minds of those that love you, let Mary of Mary to rest in the bosom of our Lord until we serve, until we, we sleep to meet, until we sleep to part no more. Who 
free power they brought, the indigent, I am not from Benin, but I felt the impact from Mama. That is why we are here. Hallelujah. Amen. And I want us to go quickly so that I won't be I won't be carried away because of Mama's attitude to me and my entire members. Please let's quickly turn our Bible to the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter eleven. God bless you. From verse nine. The Bible said, Rejoice, O young man, in thy youth, and let the heart cheer thee in the days of thy youth, and in the sight of the own of the eyes. But no doubt that for all these things, God will bring thee into judgment. Thank you, Father, for your word. Much of this word has been read this evening to tell us that whoever depart here has a place to rest. And I read this evening very well. Do anything that comes your way. Anything you feel to do, do it. Those who kill, those who poison people, those who put charm on the road for years, is uh, is our neighbor. Those who require for 10 years, the world remain fresh in their heart. The Bible says rejoice. Young men, do whatever comes to your mind. Whatever that is good in your sight, do it. But one thing that is common with men and is right to God, the Bible said, in the book of Proverbs chapter 14, he said, whatever seems right, what you think is right in your own sight, what you think is proper to your own eyes, who needs to protect. What is it that you thought is right? And God is not is not right in the sight of God. Until you pass it through the word of God. Whatever you are about to do, if you don't measure it according to the will of God, no matter how sweet, it's signed to the ears of your neighbor. It could be very wrong. That is why the Bible says, whatever seem right, in the sight of mine, to God is wrong, he is evil. Why? He is a creator, he is the founder of the whole world. I told somebody, God is not wise, he is a fountain of wisdom. If somebody is wise, that means it depends on sorrow. But God is self sufficient. So, whatever you thought is right on your own, within your educational background, that you are right, the Bible says that thing could lead that person to death. He could lead you that you thought the word of God is not into you. That thing you always rely on man upon could lead that person to death. Think about your life. When you are sleeping, when you are walking on the road, when you are at work, when you are relaxing your life, Mama sat down, according to the word from our beloved daddy, some, oh, some last words before Mama passed on. Throw me, before I could call fire, the driver passed the door and came out. They had to break the door before the man came out as, as he seated at the owner's seat. I don't know who you are here. Maybe people may be afraid of you in the family because you lay hands on some certain things. People may be afraid of your character because when you talk, you don't look back. 
a day is coming that will leave this earth. The painful as well of it is that God said, Remember, I said, when did you give your life to Christ? You can run and meet brother. Mama, which day to carry my mama when pass on the bridge? I surrender my life to Christ. I want to run. Make up your mind this evening. If you know you want to surrender your life to Jesus. I might not reach what you thought I would say this evening. If you know you want to surrender your life to Jesus Christ. The door is open to you. And I will give under the microphone to our daddy to pray on that aspect. If you know, you know, you think about your life that a day is coming, you will die. Nobody will see you again. All your joy, all your all your beauty, all your education ends that very day. I want you to look at me. This is a vehicle you don't need license to drive. This is a vehicle you don't need permission to enter. Either you like it or not, either I like it or not, we will enter it one day. And after that, you may say this is how they have been saying it, their mouth is so sweet. They have a sugar-coated mouth. You will know, baby, but it is too late. I will can surrender today. I say, Jesus, you are my Lord. You want to give your life to Jesus? Lift up your hands when you are want to pray for you. You want to see God and Savior from today. Help me, O oh Lord. Thank you, Abba Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Lord, according to your word, you have with heart, man believe and with mouth they confess. All these are people, your children have confessed as, of their, as their Lord and Savior. Father, by the raising of your death on the cross of Calvary, two thousand over two thousand guided them, strengthen them and give them the grace and power to go and sin no more. That at the end of their Rest on earth, Father, that we have cause to reign with you. Thank you, Heavenly Father, that there will join in heaven today, even on the record of your the departed, our departed mouth, that there is a joy. Thank you, Abba Father. Glory be to your holy name. In Jesus' wonderful name we pray. Amen. Let us rise up on our feet. Let them come forward. We want to pray for them. Strength for your hands to death. Oh, my what is that? When you, I want you to stretch only a finger to them, not the whole of your hand. When you stretch out a finger to somebody, what happens? Whatever you wish them in for will come to you. Send out a finger to them and pray for them. That all these children will never regret. In that the way they give their hands to, to bring out money, to, to, to give their mother a befitting barrier, that the Almighty God will bless them. They will never regret. Yeah, Just pray for them as you wish. Wish them good. I pray that the death of your mom, mommy will never be a tragedy for you. In the name of Jesus, you dip your hands into your pocket to give your beloved mother a bevating barrier. It shall be well with you. You will live longer. None of you will die premature. It shall be well with your wife, your children, every one of you, your husband. The grounds of God will rest upon you. The Lord will put the world of fire surround you. If the Almighty God will bless the work of your hands, He will keep on promoting you. In the name of Jesus. I die now. Would you have come and do a barrier? will never be your portion. Forward never for you, backward never. You will never know it better yesterday. It will be a better tomorrow on daily basis. In the name of the Lord Jesus, the Lord will guide you, the Lord will support you, the Lord will bless you. Every of your good desire, the Lord will grant unto you. I come every one of you, your entire family, with the blood of Jesus. And the Lord will unite you together. There will be no misunderstanding. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus. Jesus mighty name we pray. Amen. And I decree, so shall it be in the name of Jesus. You will never know it better yesterday. It will be better tomorrow on daily basis. Amen. Forward ever for you. Amen. Backward never in the name Amen. of Jesus. You will never regret. Amen. It shall be well with you. Amen. Is any power of forces of woman being? During this very year, that want to eyes you for evil, the Lord will blindfold their eyes in the name of Jesus. Amen. 
you will move forward in life. In the name of Jesus. The Almighty God will put the world of fire around you and your entire family. In the name of Jesus. The Lord will unite you together. No power, no force, nobody will be able to separate you. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. As many that come from far and near to witness, to celebrate with these people, join in mercy to everyone in the name of Jesus. There will be no tragedy. There will be no evil news. In the name of Jesus. Concerning you and people and those who are still coming tomorrow, all ah, will be good news. At the end of everything, all glory will be to the Almighty God. Thank you, Abba Father. And our Father, we pray for every one of us today. We are that to pray for all that we will fulfill our days. Nobody will die premature. In the name of Jesus. And we will see you before we see them. If there is anyone that has seen, add in their heart. In this gathering today, save their soul in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. We appreciate you, Lord. In Jesus' wonderful name, we pray. Amen. And the people will say, Amen. Let somebody shout a big hallelujah. Hallelujah. Though so it's not in the, the booklet, it's the last respect for Mama. And we are going to stand up. The minister will go first, followed by the children, followed by the church member and the family. We are not going to open the uh, casket. You are just going to say a farewell to Mama. The minister will go first. Pray. Follow by the children. us in Jesus' name. We are taking the, uh, the last time.
know, Father, we want to say thank you. Just for you are helping your daughter. You gave and you take, we appreciate you for a life well spent. Thank you for the beating for burial. Thank you for the children. Daddy, we say that we're exalted in the name of Jesus. Amen. We sanctify the grave with the blood of Jesus. We cover the cross with the blood of Jesus. If there's any woman be of power that may want to use the image to terrorize the children, it will not work in the name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, I pray for all the children, they will never regret. Amen. The family shall be well with them. Amen. Nobody will die premature. Amen. There will be no tragedy. Amen. There will be no evil. Thank you, Abba Father. And tomorrow seems to take over, Lord, to the glory of your name. Blessed be your name. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest and abide with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, God, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. But <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>